to impose a new rule. To explain all this, we have the head of the Department of International Magical Cooperation, Mr. Bartimus Crouch. and feel thanks to him. He's supposed to be mad as a hatter, though, these days. <clears throat> uh, my dear old friend, thanks for coming. Stupid ceiling. <laughs> Thank you. Pathetic. Oh, no, you don't, Sonny! <laughs> I teach you to curse someone when their back is turned. Stinking, cowardly, scummy, Professor Moody. What, what are you doing? Teaching. Is that a is that a student? Technically, it's a ferret. Stand still, stand still. Oh, my father will hear about this. It's not a threat. Professor Moody. It's not a threat. Oh, Professor. Oh. I can tell you stories about your father that would curl even your greasy hair, boy. Alistair. It doesn't end here. Alistair, we never use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely Dumbledore told you that. Might have mentioned it. Well, you will do well to remember it. Wait. Give me the wretched name, Marty Crouch! Junior. All right, we'll have time for a cozy catch up later. We've got to get the hell out of here. And soon. Potter, you're underage, which means you've still got the trace on you. What's the trace? If you sneeze, the Ministry will know who wipes your nose. The point is, we have to use those means of transport the Trace can't detect. Brooms, testicles, and the like. We go in pairs. That way, if anyone's out there waiting for us, and I reckon there will be, they won't know which Harry Potter is the real one. The real one? I believe you're familiar with this particular brew. Head for the burrows. We'll rendezvous there. On the count of three! Hold tight, Harry. One! <laughs> 